danger. So still in subdued lighting. By the time you get this reading, I'm recording it on the Tuesday. I am going to be at the ENT place and I'm hoping this guy is going to sort me out. So before I get on with the reading, just a little bit of news this week. If you're not on Instagram and you're not on Facebook, go and have a look at Mystic Love Tarot. Um, I did the gender reveal this week and I will now pause this video, post it guy post it for you guys so you can have a look. Uh, it's all my family, my mum, my grands, my aunties, my brother, everyone's on the video. Uh, so have a watch of it now. Um, Three, two, two one. one. <laughs> 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 Okay, so that's the gender. Uh, really, really thrilled, really happy. Um, little boy, little Latino boy on his, on his way to us. So uh, we, we couldn't be happier. Right, what we are going to do this week is are you on their mind? So I've got two decks to go with. These are the Baba Studios decks. I've got number one and number two. So go to the deck that you are most drawn to. Number one, this one is the Mythical Creatures Tarot and number two is the Tarot of Prague. And I like this deck because one of my main guides is from Prague. Um, so there's a very strong allegiance with this deck as well. So number one and number two, are you on their mind? You were always on my mind. <laughs> Ali, put your headphones in, don't sing. Okay, deck number one, let's do this. So as always, it works on the strongest mutual energy between you all, regardless of your circumstances and situations. Um, going into all your energies, all your people's energy, and pulling out that strong energy that resides, it's a bit saying resides between you all. Okay. Think about your person for me. Can we get into their person's collective energy of all their people? Fabulous. And let's do all possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances, and changes. That uh, You Are Always On My Mind song reminds me of that uh, Practical Magic film. Remember that? I love that film. It used to scare me. I remember going to see the cinema at right, it when I was like 10, 12 with my friends. And I, I got a little bit freaked out when he came back from the dead. I was like, oh, I don't know if I like that. But in like a year's time after that, I was like, I love that film. Okay. Are they, are you, are the people watching on their person's mind, the collective energy? Also like Midnight Margaritas, all right? That reminds me of that film as well. Are you on their mind? I'm very much looking forward to my glass of champagne at Christmas. <laughs> it's a good time for the baby to come in November, isn't it? You know, I'm going to still have my champagne with my family at Christmas. Just one glass. Are you on their mind? You are on mind. Okay, so your person has got these very, very strong feelings for you, very, very strong emotions for you, but they're just not quite giving you that commitment that you want at the moment. The overall answer is yes, you are on their mind, really. Let me see if any more jump. That's the hand set. Are you guys on their person's mind too? I'm just going to get one more. My guide is just saying one more. Okay. So you are on your person's mind. You, you definitely are. We have the two of cups. They're so beautiful, aren't they? We've got the two of cups kind of coming up at the first and foremost um, of the, the cards that have been pulled for you guys. Your person does love you very much. They have these very, very strong feelings for you, very strong emotions for you but they haven't been expressing them to you. Your person hasn't really been giving you any form of commitment or any form of anything of what you want. And you've been feeling a little bit um, um, a bit stuck over the situation and unsure what to do about it. Your person's also feeling a little bit stuck over the situation because they, they're feeling a little bit frustrated with themselves because they know that they have these feelings for you. You know that they know that they have these emotions for you, but at the same time, they're just not giving you what it is that you want. Let me ask why. Why aren't their people giving them the commitment or what they want? Why? 
So some of you guys, it's circumstances. So um, depending on what they're up to, who they're with, you know, if they're of a third party energy, something along those lines, that's not all of you. If you don't know about it, that's because it's not including you. Um, the other reasons why they're not giving you what they want, it looks like stuff has happened within their past which has affected the situation and they just want to make sure that they are making the right choices before taking a leap of faith and jumping um, into a connection, jumping into a relationship with you. So the reason why they're not giving you what it is that you want at the moment is stuff in the past, potential circumstances depending on what's going on, so it could be third party, family, work, etc, etc, with a few of you guys. Um, and just making sure that they're making the right choices and making the right decisions. And that is why they're not committing to you just yet. It doesn't mean they haven't got emotions for you because they absolutely do. And even if you guys aren't in contact, your person is definitely, definitely thinking about you. Now, it looks like there could have been a few towers happening with you guys. Um, if this hasn't happened yet, this could potentially be on its way to you. So just be a little bit prepared. Tower being a big T tower, little T tower could be a, a big circumstance happening around you guys or a little one could have already happened. Um, for a lot of you, it probably has already happened. But some of you guys, this is on its way. So just be a little bit, bit cautious on this. Just be a bit aware. Um, the reason why this is kind of coming up in the cards as well is when we're looking at are you on their mind with this tower hitting you are going to be even more so in their mind because they're going to be quite upset a little bit you guys are going to be quite upset quite distraught over the situation your person's going to be having that as well they're just a bit better at covering up those real emotions for you they just get, you know, kind of brush it all under the carpet. So we have this towers happening. Now, it's quite important that these towers do happen so that we can have this movement from your person to you. So if it's all been a little bit stagnant, which it has been because we've got the eight of, eight of swords over here, where it's all been a little bit stagnant, things can shift and move into your favour. OK, um, with the magician and the eight of wands, there's definitely an alignment of you and your person's energy. Your energies are definitely kind of merging and aligning in the right direction for you both and it's going to take you out of this kind of non-committal energy that you both have been involved in or your person has been kind of putting you in this non-committal energy over here just because they haven't been committing to you does not mean that they haven't been thinking about you okay spirit are saying um it's just that perhaps the circumstances around them has been a little bit complicated and they've been tying themselves to that they've been tying themselves to these kind of they say imaginary ropes, really, thinking, oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to get out of everything that I'm involved in. I don't know if I'm ready. And you have this kind of panic coming from your person. You've also had a little bit of them being on the self-defense as well, Spirit are saying. So if you said something to them and they've gone a little bit snappy or snarly over the connection with you and them as well, potential fire coming out of their out of their mouths. OK, so there's been potential arguments as well, which could be the towers that have happened with you guys. Your person, again, there is this very strong love for you, very, very strong emotions over here with the Ten of Cups coming out as well. Um, but there has to be an end in this cycle, end in the, the, the cycle that you guys have been involved in. And that will come through this towers hitting. OK, and I know I've said that before, but it's coming up in your energy again. So where you're going with this all at the moment is kind of a holding on. Both of you are still holding on to the energy of it all at the moment. It's a very magical connection with you guys, a very, very spiritual connection. Um, and definitely, Spirit is saying with that, a very strong connection with nature between you both as well. Um, and we're going a little bit deep now, but they're talking about nature and nurture. Your connection between the two of you embodies both of these principles. Okay, so it's a very, very divine connection. If you want to look at more of that, have a Google spirit or uh, your, your guides will talk to you about it. But nature versus nurture, very much coming into your energy over here. Very powerful, powerful connection with you both. OK, and it's this kind of both of you are holding on to the situation at the moment and the love between the two of you resides. It's very, very strong love based energy. OK, it's, it's there, very powerful. Now, your person sometimes can act more on a sexual energy than a romantic energy. And that can drive you guys a little bit insane. Um, they do want to be with you with the genie kind of coming up over here. They want this connection to work out with you guys, um, but they are in conflict over it. They have got this tension over the situation and it goes back to everything that we said why so the circumstances that I'm not sure if I'm ready to commit I've got to make sure that I've got everything wanting everything lined up the way I want it to before I give you guys the commitment that you deserve um, and that, that's what's frustrating you because you're going to feel like it's kind of a bit backwards and forwards or it's just not happening at all 
So even if you're not talking, your person is very much thinking about you and thinking of making those moves towards you. So you will hear from them um, in the not too distant future. OK, if you want to look at individual timings, just give me a shout. But you definitely have this movement, this energy coming forward with you guys. So even if, like I said, even if you're not in contact and these towers have already hit, you have this movement coming forward. So it won't be long before you hear from them. Timing wise on it as a collective energy, you're probably looking at it as a couple of weeks before you do hear from them again. Um, obviously, that is your collective energy and timings vary uh, depending on people's free will. But as your neutral energy, you're looking at a couple of weeks. So it's not that far away. Um, you know, you are on your person's mind. They are thinking about you a lot. They do have these feelings and these emotions for you. It's just that it's had to have a bit of a breather. What a, a couple, maybe a moon cycle, spirit saying a moon cycle has happened between you guys or will be within the next moon cycle that things start to shift back into your favour. They're going to come towards you with some offer of romance and with some kind of offer of love that they haven't done yet. So you're going to get a little bit more from them than what they have originally given you. Originally given you. You're going to get more emotions, more support and more love from them. Do know that your person does love you, okay? We keep coming back to this card. They do love you. Your energies are entwined and aligned, but you've just kind of been singing a little bit off a different hymn, sh hymn sheet at this moment in time. But your energies are going to align with one another and this connection can be moved forward that way. But are you on their mind absolutely yes really very much so probably every second of every day really very strong emotions going on with them and for you okay guys and that is deck number one i'm sending lots of love and blessings to you all uh, have a blessed week and i will speak to you all soon ciao Okay, guys, deck number two. So as always, it works on the strongest mutual energy between you all. Um, if you just tapped in, tuned in and turned on, if you want to go see the gender reveal that I did with my family, um, I put it right at the start of the video um, so you can go back and have a look. It's also on uh, the Facebook page and my Instagram page, mi page Mystic Love Tarot. So if you want to go and have a look and see... Um, I'm not planning on posting too much about the baby on my, my work page, but if you want to follow my personal Instagram, just send me a friend request. It's private, but I will accept it. It's uh, Ali Marie 86 if you want to find me. Okay, think about your person for me. Can you think your person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes? Obviously, you'll see my whole life on the And all possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances, and changes of deck number two. Right, let's see. Are you on your person's mind? Are you on your person's mind? So I'm actually getting a song from The Greatest Showman. <laughs> That's a good way to start off a reading, isn't it? The song from The Greatest Showman. This is me. This is me. Um, so you guys have had a bit of a rough ride. Really had a bit of a rough ride. But you've come to this kind of understanding acknowledgement and happiness as such that this is who you are as a person with regard to your connection so you've done a lot of inner work a lot of inner work are you on their mind and so you guys even though you're still going through a little bit of the motion spirit i say you're actually feeling quite a little quite a bit better um with regard to yourself and how you've been handling the situation it has been bothering you a lot you and your person it has been bothering you a lot um and you haven't really been sure how they're handling things what they're thinking what they're feeling what the hell is going on um but so what you've done is you've kind of stepped out of your own way and really focused on your own energy and through doing that you've had this kind of feeling more at peace with regard to the situation with you and them so are you on your mind on their mind the first card that is coming up is the seven of swords now those of you that read tarot you will know that the seven of swords is kind of a little bit about deception now the swords is also very much of the mind okay so First and foremost, with this card jumping out, you've got deception of the mind. So what your person is doing, first and foremost, is lying to themselves about the connection. They're brushing it under the carpet. They try not to really think on it. They're like, I do care about you. I do have these feelings for you, but I'm just not really going to act on them. I'm not going to do anything about it. I'm just going to pretend that nothing is really happening with us. Um, I'm going to pretend that I don't miss you, that I don't want to speak to you. going to do all of this kind of stuff. But it is a very, very strong deception of the mind. OK, so this isn't really how they're feeling. This is how they want you to think that they are feeling. 
if that makes sense. They're lying to themselves about the connection with you guys. And it's really interesting that in the background, you've kind of got this black and white energy over it and Spirit is showing me a newspaper. So this is something that perhaps they've done in the past as well, okay? There's a past energy coming up over here that perhaps they've treated you this way before and then suddenly you're back in the same cycle, history repeating itself. So are you on their mind? they are really kind of trying to brush it under the carpet at the moment but the really interesting thing coming up over here is we have got social media coming into it so your person is watching what you're up to even though they have this deception of the mind they are watching you on social media they are seeing what is going on in your lives and if it isn't social media is probably WhatsApp or Facebook, well, Facebook is social media, Instagram, anything along those lines, they are keeping tabs on you. They are watching you. So even though they're like, no, 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 I don't need to think about you. I'm not thinking about you. I'm just going to watch everything that you are up to. Okay. It's a very strong deception energy that they are they're fooling themselves in a sense. Um, and I just got with that uh, a song that it's from the 90s and I can't remember who sang it, but the one that says, I'm crazy, crazy for you and there's nothing that I won't do. It was a really cool upbeat song from the 90s. I think it was a boy band. Crazy for you and there's nothing that I won't do. Don't get me to sing. Sorry, guys. Just going to deafen you. Um, but that energy coming forward, all right? So there is this very strong emotions, very strong pull towards you, but they're just hiding away from it at the moment. Now, that being said, you do give them this happiness. This happiness is within them, okay? And you have got movement coming forward from them as well. Sometimes they act a little bit childish coming back to this energy over here. They're a little bit immature with regard to the situation and with regard to how they handle your emotions. They've got this immaturity coming from it, okay? Um, they want to kind of give you something that is a little bit more stable, but it's this like it's this backwards and forwards motion. And I just saw a pendulum, uh, not a pendulum that you do divination on, like a proper pendulum of a clock swinging backwards and forwards. This is the energy that they bring forward to you, that they swing lots of hot energy, lots of cold energy, a bit here, a bit there, swinging between the two sides of the pendulum and it comes back to this kind of self-denial over here the reason why they are in so much denial let's have a look at that why is that number two and why is there people in so much denial over the connection with those watching why okay they've been hurt before they got their their walls up they've got their guard up They've got this kind of devil energy coming forward as well. So maybe issues with codependency, toxicity, et cetera, et cetera. Um, this is part of the reason why they handle the situation the way that they do. Toxicity energy. They know, they know that you're not going that far or they think that you're not going that far, that you're not going to kind of just suddenly up and leave them and, and you know, go into the sunset. They, they know that because they know that you have these really strong feelings for them. So when they're having a panic, when they're having a freak out, they just feel that they can distance themselves from the connection and you will still be there waiting for them. Um, now, this is reason why this is important and why they're acting like this. Again, it kind of comes back to this denial, this, oh, I've been hurt before. I don't want to get hurt again. If I let you guys get close to me, um, I'm going to just kind of push away and back away because I start to feel vulnerable. And that is why you have this denial over here. Self-preservation, Spirit is saying. They're trying to preserve, preserve themselves and look after themselves so they don't get hurt again. But that's not great for you, obviously. And this is where this immaturity lies. You know, they're not being very mature over the situation. They are quite burdened by this, this as well. Okay, they see you as putting them on this bit of a pedestal. You know, that you put the, that you see them in a way that perhaps other people haven't seen them before. And that can panic them a little bit because most people have treated them quite what they would consider poorly. And they feel a little bit of a victim of their own um, decisions and choices that they have made. They're making themselves kind of feel like, well, you know, everything that I've done in my life has made my life be so difficult. And this is where I'm staying. And this kind of soul, deep soul wounding is happening with your person. And because you kind of put them on this bit of a pedestal, they don't really know how to handle it. And so they panic on that as well. They're like, well, she doesn't or he doesn't really know me. They don't know who I am as a person. So through that, they kind of have this backing away energy coming forward as well. It doesn't mean they're not thinking about you. You have this very heavily burdened energy going on with them. Um, it's just that they're very good at kind of putting it on the sideline. 
they just like again it's like they, they make these steps towards you they, they play they, they, these chess pieces towards you and they just wait to see what your move is and then when you move and you move a little bit closer towards them they back away and they panic a little bit you have this very strong idea of them wearing a mask coming up over here as well and this is part of the reason why with them you seeing them how they see that you're putting them on a pedestal that you, they think well you don't know the real them and if you did get to know the real them you wouldn't like them now that is a load of bollocks because you do know the real them and all of you are psychic and intuitive and empath you know your person but they think you don't and they might even say to you well you don't even know me you don't know who i am you don't know me um it's a load of rubbish. It's an absolute load of rubbish. But these fears are kind of really, really amalgamating, spirit say, and coming up to the surface. You have this strong energy of the two of you. Um, and we have this love energy kind of coming on as well. And these last two cards over here, you have the King of Cups and you have the Wheel of Fortune. So your person has got these emotions for you. They have got these very strong feelings. And this card over here, Wheel of Fortune, reminds me of the astrological clock in Prague. Uh, I went to Prague once, actually um it reminds me of that and it, it's kind of like this is a this is a strong connection a very very divine connection um i don't know if you guys have ever looked at your astrology and i'm not an astrologer um but it might be worth having a look at things like that seeing where your energies are aligning with each other what your star signs and not even your star signs your rising signs your ascendant signs all of that having a look at yours and your person's energy and seeing where your bonds are where your connections are um because that will help to bring this relationship a little bit closer forward when you realize where your mutual interests are rather than what you are against really interesting point that spirit just said um so there is a planetary alignment happening with you guys and like i said i don't really understand astrology my friend marion she's absolutely amazing astrologer if you wanted to go and have a look at her um i just ask her to do my astrology she's a she does tarot as well she's on youtube as marion k tarot so if you want to go have a look i'm sure she'd have a look at you with your astrology if you wanted to look at it at a deeper level um, but your person has got these feelings, they have got these very strong emotions for you, and there is this need to break the chain. Now, the Wheel of Fortune talks about things spinning further into your favour, okay? And it's spinning into your favour with emotions of love. So your person has got these feelings for you, has, has got these feelings? Your person has got these feelings for you, they have got these emotions for you. Um, and they're kind of seeing you, or they will be, seeing you as this kind of trophy at the moment at the end of it they are you are going to be what they want but right now what's happening in their mind is the self-denial so are they thinking about you yes but they're trying not to <laughs> they're trying not to because they're very complicated and a little bit childish and it's not quite working but do know they are definitely watching your social media acting a little bit immature um reasons why we've spoken through um but there is this kind of coming together and a joining of the two of you based on emotions if you can put up with the childishness and immaturity that comes from your person being a little bit silly Okay, and that is deck number two. So yeah, there are emotions for you. Um, they're just being a little bit pickled over it all at this point in time. Okay, guys, um, so have an absolutely blessed week. I'm sending tons of love to you. I will speak to you all uh, next week. And hopefully I might have the lights on by then because the ENT guy is going to fix me and my sinuses and my eustachian tube dysfunction. <laughs> fingers crossed you know if they said to me they said uh in pregnancy you have like 50 percent extra fluid in your body so my eustachian tubes are just full of fluid i'll run because that but i can't get rid of it it's stuck <laughs> it's really stuck and it's it's not at the front of my eardrums it's behind my eardrums so it, you can't even get to it so I might have to drain it and everything. How nice is that? Oh, lovely. Just what you want. But I'll give you an update next Thursday. Um, as always, thank you all for your love and support. Um, I love you all to pieces and I will speak to you soon. And thank you with the gender reveal as well. I hope you guys really, really enjoyed it. Lots of love. Ciao.